guys, we're here at Castle Point in New Jersey, and I got some playing cards. We've maybe seen that during the B-roll. I'm a big fan of Trigon, obviously, Master Stampede, Master Stampede. So I'm just gonna open them up. I'm actually also a huge fan of regular playing cards. I thought maybe this was some kind of like card game, like a trading card game or something like that. But no, these are gonna be like regular old playing cards. Believe it or not, again, I enjoy myself a pack of these once in a while. There we go. We got the Joker, which is of course Vash the Stampede. Got the Ace. We got these guys. We got that. We got Wolfwood. I guess that's Young Vash and uh, Knives, I think his name was. This is interesting. This this might have a lot more art. Uh, this might have a lot more from like the manga or something because I don't recognize a lot of these characters. I recognize him. That's Millie. There's Wolfwood. It's been a little while, sorry. Vash, of course. I'm not sure who that is, but I think we've basically seen it. Yeah, we've basically seen them all. Joker again. Yeah. Trigun playing cards. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to playing solitaire with this while I wait for videos to render. All right, guys, it's your boy Zero. As you saw, I already got myself a pack. This is a special official tournament pack volume three of the Digimon card game. I'm quite excited. You only get these in tournaments and sometimes you can find them loose at uh, certain conventions or card shops. I got it here at Castle Point anime convention. So let's open it and see what I got. All right, so we got this pack. We're gonna slice this motherfucker open. Let's go. Dan is behind the camera. All right. Yeah, you did, because I have horrible, horrible, horrible luck. All right, so the first card we get is... Ooh, Nanders, look at that. We got a Tentomon card. Remember him? In our Digimon Let's Play uh, for uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. We chose him as our partner. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and see. Kabu Terimon, his evolution. I like it. Go again. Mega Kabuterimon, his other evolution. And the last card. Oh boy. We have Izzy. Now, Izzy, of course, was the original partner for Tentomon, as you see here from Digimon Season 1. However, the art you see here is from Digimon Adventure 2020. So he has a cool little orange yellow jacket on, green shorts, and some weird shoes. But hey, this is cool. I was hoping for some kind of holographic, but hey. This is all good for me, man. All right, what's up, guys? We are here, as you can see, at the Meadowlands Exposition Center for Castle Point uh, Anime Convention. As you can see, it's also wrapping up at this time. I'm Nanners. I'm Zero. And uh, we did just want to talk a little bit about this. Neither of us have been to this event before, so it is kind of cool. We can share some of that unique thoughts about what we experienced today, some of the things that we got to do. and. Uh, Yes, yeah, so you want to tell us more? Yeah, so let's talk about this. So, as Nanner said, we've never been here before. Uh, the uh, Castle Point, as a matter of fact, if you if you look closely, we'll put up a uh, picture of their logo. Uh, for the first A, they used a uh, hiragana ah sounding uh, character, which is which I found pretty interesting. Um, so, if we've never been to this convention before. Uh, I believe Nanners, you told me it started. It was it was started by a couple of students at a local uh, college, correct? That's right, Zero. This is a student-grown event. This is founded by students who are fans of anime, wanted to put together a convention for themselves. And again, like I kind of said, this was relatively smaller than something that we've been to, like Anime NYC, 
or even a colossal con but realistically it's still a nice con there's good stuff to do here and I, the way i kind of see it is like you know come into something like this you're gonna help it grow you're gonna help it get bigger you know one day it'll be a lot bigger one day it was a lot smaller than this so it is really cool and again we've never been here before so it is nice to see that there's something like this in north jersey we're in secaucus right now so there's an anime con in secaucus which is awesome because again it's not too far for us uh again being from new york there's only so many conventions we can go to because they only hold so many conventions in New York. So it's nice to see one literally right next door to us. And like Nanner said, even though it is a very small convention, you're still going to find all the things you would find at a convention. They had a couple of concerts here today with some awesome bands and singers, mind you. An arcade, if you're a gamer like us, they had a pretty decent arcade with pretty much any game you could think of. We unfortunately missed the Street Fighter V tournament that I wanted to go to today. But it was still nice to see people just hanging out, playing games. Nanners, you even got to play that uh, Initial D racing game that you like so much. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, the Initial D game certainly isn't much like uh, like the realism of Gran Turismo, so I had to adjust for that. But it's it's really cool. You can also play it head to head. I really like when I get to go to an anime convention and I get to play that Initial D game. Fortunately, we did not get to play it head to head because there's a huge line. All those cabinets had like huge lines for them. But uh, it's just it's nice to see that here. We also got some things too, because of course, that's what we do. No snacks this time. We're not gonna, we're not gonna stuff cream, cream filled donut pastries into our mouths this time. But we did get some cool stuff. I got a couple shirts, initial D shirts. I got the uh, tri gun cards, uh, which we, you guys also saw a little bit of B roll of us opening those tri gun cards. The games here are pretty cool too. Once again, you come to like an anime con, maybe you expect that it's only anime, but they had some really good game vendors here. We got a ton of retro games. We'll be showing that off uh, right now. We got, they had like PS1, PlayStation games, some like really cool obscure titles, some NES titles. Uh, I was sending pictures all weekend to like my, my buddies and about that too. Like, hey, check this game out. So uh, we got that. They also had some gotcha stuff. We keep making fun of gotcha on our on our Kirby playthrough because they put so much gotcha into that. But they did have some gotcha machines and it was for Kirby too. I got this like mini tea set with like a tiny plate and a tiny mug. It was it was really cool. I, I was actually really happy with the dealer's room. Not not really like a, a big dealer's room kind of guy, but this time around they had some cool stuff here. And uh, what did you get? Well, I only ended up getting two things. Uh, you actually kind of snatched one of the things that I wanted, but I wasn't going to argue with you because you don't really have that many PS1 games. So uh, he ended up getting Gran Turismo 1. Now, I'm not going to bitch about it. I have Gran Turismo 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and sports. So he could have the first one. I know you're loving Gran Turismo right now, so I support it. What I got myself was a copy of Lego Racing or Lego Racers or something like that for the PS1. I remember playing that game uh, back on the N64 with some friends. It was a lot of fun. I love the idea of building your own cart and, and racer and stuff. So I can't wait to play that. Maybe we'll put it on the channel one day. Uh, I also got myself a tournament pack of Digimon cards, which we'll, which we'll be showing some footage of that uh, later in the video, or even right now, actually. Uh, those tournament packs you could only get when you enter a tournament. So it was nice to see that someone was actually selling that uh, at a convention where I can just pay, what, eight bucks and get the cards. And the last thing I got was what I think might be a Final Fantasy VII Polygon uh, model figurine. So if you don't know what I mean by that, if you ever play Final, uh, Final Fantasy VII on the PS1, which a lot of us have, you'll notice that their overworld sprites or models are very, very blocky. A lot of people like that sort of aesthetic. They made these little figurines. I saw it and I knew my younger brother would love it, especially if he pulls Cloud. Now it had Cloud on the very front of the box, but if you turn it around, you see that there are a lot of other ones. So it might be a blind box. I didn't open it because it is a gift for him. So we'll see what happens. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the first day here that we're at uh, Castle Point Anime Convention in Secaucus, New Jersey. Because again, we did a couple of things. We had some fun, bought some things. But I think at this point, again, since it's going to be extra special since we've never been here before, we should both talk about kind of our thoughts about what, our, what we experienced, how we feel, and what we would review this con for. So, Zero, you take the charge. Indeed. So, we said this multiple times before. This is a small convention. And when we say small, we're talking about one huge room. That was pretty much the entire convention. There was a small little annex of the convention right next to it at a little hotel over here called the Harmony Suites. Uh, 
all they really had there was a small lounge, uh, a manga library, which by the way is awesome. Anybody who likes to read manga, I would actually suggest coming to this one next year because hell, you could just do that all day if you want. And they had another panel. It was just that. It's a very tiny convention. Everything was held in one big area. But like I said earlier as well, you're gonna find everything you would expect at an anime convention. The artist alley was very creative. We saw some buttons that we liked. Uh, the dealer's room, even though it was small, we ended up getting quite a few things that we enjoyed. Like that's the thing that really got to me this time. Like, yeah, it was small, but it did the job. Uh, it's a very intimate, small little convention. You meet a lot of people. We were online for a panel, a voice acting panel, actually. We met some people, they were very cool. They subscribed to the channel, which by the way, if you're watching, thank you. Appreciate you. This is the reason why we like to come to conventions, especially small ones, in all honesty, because you have these very small, tight-knit experiences that you really can't get at a Comic-Con or even now, Anime NYC, unfortunately. So if I had to grade this convention, I'd give it like a four out of five, in all honesty. It was just fun. It was a tiny little ball of fun that you can just go to and watch it grow over time, and hopefully it'll still stay uh, true to its past. I definitely agree with a lot of the things that he said. And again, that's true that you have to think about how that is like, it is like a smaller convention, but it has really humble roots. We recently found out about this convention, recently found out also that it's by students. So it's made by students. And that is near and dear to, I'm sure also Zero's heart, but my heart, because we used to be part of a fighting game club. And I think about the stuff that we organize. We organize tournaments, we organize trips all over the place. So it's kind of like, it reminds me of those days and to think like wow i want to learn a little bit more about this con and really know like where they came from how this started i'm sure at one point this was literally just like in a room in a college so it's to see it go to this point that's just awesome that's exactly what you want to see and then it'll get bigger and bigger from there as long as people you know come out and support that in terms of what you needed again like zero said pretty much everything was here you had the the main dealer's room you had the artist alley which again usually when i go to like anime cons i don't buy that much stuff but there was a lot of cool things that they had here in the retro games so again like it wasn't just anime too there was panel rooms there was a stage there was a game area which of course i enjoyed because of the initial d but then you also have like the rhythm game stuff too there's a breakout area where you could go for the manga room and there's more panel rooms over there there's a lounge it's really nice also this place where we are right now kind of feels like it's all just an extension of this expo center so you have hotels nearby you have parking lots nearby which is really nice as well too you could just come to this convention and just park. You know, we also have like Chipotle over here, like a half a block away. It was really cool, very convenient. I would give this convention four and a half out of five. Just because I support what they have going on here, I'm curious to learn more about it. And I think that from now on, honestly, because it's local here, I, would, I wouldn't mind just coming here like all the time. So four and a half out of five. Uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back next year and I would recommend anybody that checks it out, especially if you like anime, especially if you like conventions. Hell, even if you like video games. Well said, Niners. I mean, hell, you guys heard it from us. We love this convention. You're definitely going to see us here next year. And if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, make sure to slap the like button, mash the subscribe button, and let us know down in the comments. Are you that guy who subscribed to the channel? If you are, awesome thank you we'll follow you on socials as well if you guys saw us or want to know more about us let us know down below subscribe we'll put more stuff up and uh yeah we hope you enjoyed it yeah thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and we'll see you at the next convention so have a good one